why do snakes shed their skin and what is the metaphor? Well, they shed their skin uh, so that they can uh, swallow their prey, continue to swallow their prey. They need to have the elasticity. The wonderful thing about the fact that they shed their skin for us as a metaphor, one of them, is that snakes have no eyelids. So they shed their skin with eyes wide open mm. for the mystery. I don't know about you, but sometimes I've been down, I've been shedding down the river of denial, you know, <laughs> because I don't want to shed because I've been doing that same shedding piece over and over and over again. So, and for us specifically as women, it resonates with us, the metaphor of shedding the skin, because we also shed our uterine lining each and every month. And as that lining is shedding, as that de little death is recurring, there's a rebirthing, a possibility of new conception that will take place when we ovulate. Mm -hmm. So women really resonate with the um, idea of shedding their skins and also shedding what they no longer need, the stories that are not working for them any longer, the, the, the habits that no longer serve them, that maybe once served them. And, um, so it's a very powerful metaphor. I would like to invite you into a snake journey. Would you like to try that? I would love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you up for you working with the metaphor of shedding? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes. Let me just speak to the viewers for a moment that Elizabeth has done uh, snake journeys with me before. I have a contract with the snakes that we need to do an orientation and she's already done that. So we're not going to reenact that for the camera. But I am going to have you look at me so that I can hear your yes in your body. Feel it. Okay. May I bring him to your shoulders? Sure. Oops. I can get him out. Your tag Can you just touch the Yes, I will. Yes. Not really because of your tag. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So let me just uncoil him here. You can lift your hair up if you'd like. All right, and before you do any work, just take a moment to breathe and let you and him become one being. That's it, feel that, that deep connection with being the power of the present moment, the sensuality of being loved by another species. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about him falling, that's my job. I'll take care of him. You remember what you do if it gets tight, right? Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be held again by the snake, embraced? Oh, it feels amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like tickly and ecstasy. And, mm -hmm. and I love the feeling of just being held. Let me bring him up here. Open your hand like that for me. And let's just touch like that. So humanity moves much quicker than snakes. So he's still absorbing your scent and your aura and your vibration. You can keep holding him a little bit like that if you want, okay? All right. So you let me know when you're ready to focus on what we like to shed. Okay. I'm going to encourage you to speak a few, uh, uh, a sentence out loud, but even more important, and that's simply so that people can witness you because they don't know what you're thinking, but I really want you to hold an image in your third eye because that's how the snake is going to receive it, and that's how the snake is going to bring it back to the Mother Earth, that, that skin that you're shedding. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready to shed the skin of my self-imposed limitations. And for me, what those look like are um, ways that I stop myself and sabotage myself and um, continue old habits that I know that are no longer serving me, um, ways that I limit myself in my romantic life and my love life, and even ways in which I limit myself with my with my true work um, and my business and, and my abundance. Mm. Okay, you have a good, strong image. 
So as you're releasing that, as that's letting go, the image, you want to see who you're becoming. Okay. Yeah, I want to let go of who I am for who I can become. Yeah, no, who you are becoming. Okay. Who I'm becoming. Let me turn you this way. There you go. Feel free to move around or to turn. inside our hearts, inside this body that's the temple of our soul, that we can shed, that we do shed, as the snake sheds, and as the moon sheds her light once a month, so too do we hold the truth of change and transformation deep within us. Do you know that? Do you really know that? <laughs> yes. I do. Yes. I, do. I think you do. Yeah. <laughs> and do you own it in yourself? That's Just as you can hold owning the snake. That is, that is what I'm working toward. But yes, I can hold it for myself. You are holding it right here and right now. The first step is saying it and holding the image of it, breathing it into every cell of your body. Right then, if so, notice where the snake is on your body, down here by your belly. Okay, remember that. Remember. That's where the seat of or the, the seat of our intuition is. What I'm going to do is honor you for the work that you've done by giving you a crown. So bring your hands up, let yourself hold him so that he feels good and let him crown you. you do a slow turn for them. Let them see you, who you are, and know that the snake will take that skin and take what you're shedding in that skin and bring it to Mother Earth, who knows how to recycle it. And the snake who is going to tell you from Mother Earth can do that with us. parties. <laughs> yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Girls of power parties. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Love. Yes. Abundance. Yes. Prosperity. Yes. Inner power and inner strength. Yes. Believing in myself. Yes. Knowing that I am sovereign. Yes. 
wise mm -hmm. than the queen of my you world. You might be able to let your hands down and just let him hold you. If, <laughs> it's kind of a little hard here, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So this is a, a shorter snake journey. It's a little, it's a, it's a very, very quick one. It'll take a little bit more time at another time, and we'll deepen that. Okay. So look at the phase of the moon tonight, and wait till she's full, and do something on the full moon. Okay. Okay. Because that's our moon. yes, that's that's women's moon time. Okay. Okay, especially for love. Okay, <laughs> Ash, I'm so glad I had this handsome cuddler on me. <laughs> He's a handsome, cuddly snake. I like him. And Elizabeth, thank you. I want to thank you also for, for uh, modeling for our viewers that this is not just something that the snake priestess does. Mm. This is something that we all can do. And we all have the option of making a choice with that. Yeah. And also that... Each time we make the choice to be with them and to receive their, their medicine and their wisdom, that not only do we become more myst in mystical participation with the earth, but we also give us a healing to the snakes mm. who have been demonized and put, you know, and a lot of people have been afraid of them over the years. Mm. So I think thank you, Serpentessa. Snake sister has shed her skin. Snake sister shed her skin. Shed it, shed it, she shed her skin. She shed it, she shed it, she shed her skin. She shed it, she shed